Daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies. From berry bitty seed to full size flower in just a few days. Um, how big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are. The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good. But it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. <laughs> to 375. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? What was that? My muffin recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grill. You're really getting big. Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh, no! Come on! What is it? Oh, no! Not again! Let's go! Uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. All I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to Muffin Surprise. Uh, <laughs> oh, <I know. laughs> muffin Explosion? Ha. Uh, Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny. <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step. Double check the oven's temperature. Triple check the timer. Huh. Maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? 
I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, Go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course. It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is. Oops, sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Well, let's see. Uh, yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible. I planted daisy seeds. <gasps> Oh, thank you, Blueberry. You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me. I mean, about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water or too little water or too much sun or something. Uh, oh, my. You did everything right. Best crop of corn I've seen. Bet you'd be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> Nice corn! Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen! Boy, it is big! Hi, Berrykins! Hi, Hi Strawberry! Nice corn! So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big? They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well,. I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined, for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away, with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> that's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry. No, 
know. The plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long things that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out when you're bitty, that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> But here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no. See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grow Daisies, we don't sell corn, no siree. But we're a fiction tool. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grow Super Size Ever Pop popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're going to put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental Super Size popcorn must have gotten to one of our official Daisy Seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> Oh, no! Great song. We all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. Oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. Well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, it sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, that's that's good. Good. I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too dangerous. Huh? Oh my! We are pretty bitty. And this corn pop's very big. Yeah, oh, it's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 On strawberry, how can we move them? We're so bitty, and they're so big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? Okay, let's move about! Thank <laughs> you. 
far enough away, I believe. get us out of this. Oh, I never read about this kind of thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An, an ear of corn ladder! Yeah! <laughs> The vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. <laughs> in all the places that they should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it. Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea. Peace. 
night, but it didn't. It didn't? <laughs> no. It happened on a winter's day. And because it was a winter's day, you might think it was cold, but it wasn't. It wasn't? No. It was as warm as spring. Everywhere you looked, winter was leaving. Now, you might think everyone would be happy, but they weren't. Oh. <laughs> Town. People were sorry to see winter leave so soon. I barely get these wonderful winter fashions designed and then displayed. And no one's even tried or, or barely seen or tried them on. And now I have to take them all down. Hi, hi Raspberry. Raspberry. Oh, hi. Uh, did you come to buy some wonderful winter fashions? Well, we were looking for something a little more... Springy. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Well, I better get busy designing my spring line. And all over town, that's how it was. The early spring caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Bailey, you said your story was about winter. And it is. How can it be winter when it's warm? <laughs> well, you'll just have to be patient and see what happens. And so it was that lots of folks were sad to see winter turn warm. Lots of folks, but not everyone. Here you go. Hot chocolate? We should have ordered lemonade. Yeah, ice cold lemonade. Haven't you noticed the heat outside? <laughs> What's so wrong with an early spring? Everything. My store is overstocked with fruitcake, chestnuts, and marshmallows. I barely got to show off the new knit hat and matching scarf and mittens the raspberry made for me. The snow melted before I ever got a chance to go sledding, or build a snowman, or play my favorite winter game, Capture the Snowman's Nose. Oh, yeah! Oh, snowman's Nose! I really love that game. You know... We might not be able to wear our mittens until next winter, but we could play Capture the Snowman's Nose now. And to do that, we'd need snowmen. Exactly. And to do that, we'd need it to snow. <laughs> not necessarily. So, all you gotta do is keep the juicerating confabulator turned on, keep this dial point here, flip on the freezelator like so, and presto! Instant snow! Thank you, Barricade Bruce. This is great! <laughs> well, let's build our snowman.
off the other team's snowman and brings it back to their snowman scores a point. Ready, set, wait! I just realized our teams are uneven. Our team has four, you guys only have three. Hey, yeah, you're right. Well, uh, I guess I could referee. to make all the decisions about what's fair for everybody else. And in Berry Bitty City, everybody's opinions get to be heard. So, what do you think the rules should be? Oh, oh, I don't well, know. Gosh, I haven't uh, thought of any. Barricade Blue? Uh, what if the rule was simply anything that's fun? Yeah! yeah. Very good. Should we put it to a vote? I love yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. All in favor of the only rule being anything that's fun, say aye. Aye! All opposed, say nay. <laughs> the ayes have it. The rule is passed. <laughs> Um, 
excuse me, but can they do that? No rule against it. Anything that's fun. on this side. And the other three berrykins can form a team with raspberry, orange, and lemon. Now, each team will have the same advantages. Oh, no! Look! Uh-oh. It's melting! Quick, get some more snow! Do something! Oh, well, there it goes. I'm sorry, Strawberry. It's just too warm. The snowmaking machine can't keep its cool. Thanks for trying, Berrykin Bruce. Aw. Well, that's it. Fun while it lasted. Just when we worked out the teams. <sighs> Guess we'll have to wait till next winter. Yeah. Aww. Hold on, everybody. Gather round. What if we made our snowman out of something other than snow? Oh, anybody have any ideas of what we can use to build a snowman that's white and fluffy? You mean besides mashed potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes. Mashed potatoes! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> hey, I was joking! I'm not! <laughs> it could work! Come on, everybody! There! Perfect! <sighs> now it feels like winter! Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put away my winter fashions. Do you think it's too cold and windy to play? <laughs> yes, and it'll be getting dark soon. Let's come back in the morning. Meanwhile, hot chocolate for everyone at the cafe! <laughs> all their carrots had mysteriously disappeared. Well, this snowman's carrots are gone, too. And, and we used most of the carrots we saved in the winter storehouse for playing the game. <sighs> and it looks like winter is coming back. Aha! Gotcha! I know who our thieves are. Light on their feet, but not light enough for me. Little do they know, I've read all 120 Patty Persimmon Girl Detective novels. Or is it 130? 
And I can say conclusively, without a shadow of a doubt, that the culprits are absolutely, positively... Squirrels. Yes! Uh, huh? Yep, squirrel tracks. Three sets of them, it looks like. That is absolutely... correct. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Squirrels can get very hungry. And three of them are three times as hungry. What if our carrots aren't enough for them? You mean, if they started eating the rest of our food? Yes! The crops we've stocked up in case it's a bad winter. Oh, it's not going to be a bad winter. I mean, it didn't look bad yesterday. Looks like a blizzard might be brewing. Well, in that case, shouldn't we try to leave something out for them? You know, share what we have. But if the winter gets really bad, what we have might not even be enough for us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with Berry Can Bloom. If a big blizzard hits, our berry bitty gardens and orchards would be buried. All we'd have to eat until spring would be frozen berrysicles. I think I'm with Strawberry. Shouldn't we share? Oh, I really oh, think yeah, we should. Right. That's a Sharing good idea. is what we should do. Oh, well, no. Not I don't agree at all. all because no, we run out. We have to. to. Yeah. Oh, since this is really important and everyone in town will have an opinion, I think we should vote. Well, oh, all right. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 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 Vote. Yeah. 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 This vote is for yes. And the last vote is for no. So, on the question of should we share our stores of winter food with the squirrels and other animals, the vote is... a tie! The number of yes votes and no votes are the same. Oh. oh. What, 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 what will we do? Yeah. Well, what, 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 what. Did everyone vote? Huh. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Good. Wait, did you vote? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I was so busy taking care of this, I forgot to. <laughs> um, well, no matter which way I vote, some of you are going to be happy, and others, well, maybe not so happy. We've all talked about it. What's the best thing to do for all of us? For the whole town. We've gone over the weather predictions. We've added up how much food we have for the winter. And we've talked about, is it a good idea to give away some of what we have when we don't really know how long the winter will last? Like all of you, I... I can only vote what I think and what I feel. So on the question of should we share our stores of winter food, my vote is... yes. And if a storm comes and we run out of food, they'll never forgive me. Everybody in Berry Bitty City loves you. You had a right to vote for what you believed was best. You weren't the only one who voted to share our food. But I was the tiebreaker. Oh, don't worry, Strawberry. <laughs> Who's that? It looks like some barricades. Oh, maybe they've come to tell me what they think of me. Well, I better face them. Good evening, everyone. Um, we've talked about it, and we've decided that you've been such a patient referee and leader, Strawberry. You respect all our different points of view, and so we'd like to ask you to be in charge of managing the rest of Berry Bitty City's food stores this winter. We think, well, we think it would be the best thing for all of us, for the whole town. Yes, I agree. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> Well, why don't we meet here in the morning, and we'll make a plan. All right, yeah, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Great idea. After we figure out the food situation, can we still play capture the snowman's nose? Well, I don't see why. I see. I see. <gasps> Look! But none of the carrots were eaten. You 
weren't hungry? Then why? You wanted to play capture the snowman's nose? <laughs> well then! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, well. What have we here? A four-leaf clover. Oh, <laughs> lucky me. La, 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 huh? la, 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 la. What is that beautiful sound? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. There's a note you don't hear every day. What's up, Cinepop? <laughs> you want to go play with your friends? <laughs> well, go on. Have fun. <laughs> la, 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 la. My, my, those creatures are a menace to the safety of the public. Plants. Ooh. Hey! <laughs> Come on, guys! Cut it out! Little guys have a lot of energy. I think we better go get them before they get into any more trouble. Cut <laughs> 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 it out! <laughs> These are grocery bags, not chew toys. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry? We could ask Huck to help. I think his hotel for homeless pets in Berry Big City has a dog park. I bet he'd have lots of great ideas. I'm calling him. Hello, Huck? Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. How are you? Oh, fine. Fine. I'm here with lemon, plum, blueberry, and raspberry. Hey, say hi. Huck says hi. Hi, hi Huck! <laughs> 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 we were wondering if you had time to come down here. Well, sure. Why? Well, we could use your advice on a little problem. Or rather, seven little problems. What kind of problems? What kind of problems? <laughs> this kind! <laughs> See what I mean? Sure do. I'll be by in the morning. Oh, that'll be great. Thanks. See you. Bye! He'll be here in the morning. 
I hope we can hold out that long. Come, Come here, out. you! <laughs> la, 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 la. La, 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 la. Morning, Strawberry. Please, don't stop. I love listening to you sing. It's very beautiful. <laughs> they enjoy it, too. Thanks. La 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 How in the world do you sing like that? Well, I practice a lot, but I couldn't hit that high note without this. My good luck charm. I think your singing is more than luck, Cherry. It comes from all the practicing you do. I found it one day when I was taking a walk in the country. The next day, I recorded my first hit record. I could never hit the high notes before I had it. Now I keep it with me whenever I sing. La, 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 la! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Here we go again. Easy, guys. No, no! Oh, come back here! Strawberry, I didn't have the charm. I must have dropped it when I was putting it in my pocket. That's why I couldn't hit the high note. Cherry, I really don't... <gasps> Come here, Marmalade. Don't think your charm had... Scouty! Had anything to do with... Oh, Pitter Patch! Hmm. Oh, it's up! Just in time. <sighs> <laughs> Looks like you have your hands full. Uh, no, cut it out! Give me your hand. Here you go. Phew! Now you see why we thought a dog park might help these guys burn off some energy. <laughs> a dog park's a great idea. I already made some sketches. I thought you could put a puppy playground here, uh, a fountain for drinking over there, uh, some places to cool off in the shade. Huck, this is wonderful. It's exactly what we need. How long do you think it'll take you to build it? Me? Oh, uh, I didn't know you wanted me to. We can have a grand opening next week. It could be done by then, right? A big gala, food, music, entertainment. Oh, I could sing. The Berry Kids will help, of course. We'll need decorations, flyers, invitations. Think you could help us, Huck? Uh, sure. Why not? Great. When can you start? Well, I guess I could start now. Great! Wonderful. This is our lucky day! are on the job. On the job. We are going to give this project the highest degree of craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. Nothing less than perfection. Perfection. It is the Berrykin way. Oh. Hi, Huck. Uh, How's it going? Moving right along. These guys, uh... Really know what they're doing. Yo, uh, Mr. Huckleberry, boss. Did you want these Blivet support corners, 14 by 93s or 72 by 67s? Oh. Well, we want it to be safe, of course. Wouldn't want it to, you know, <laughs> fall down. You got it, boss. Mr. Hero, I told you you'd want the 72 67s. Sorry, boss. I'll never doubt you again. <laughs> Is everything okay? Hey, no problem. I've got it covered. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you better have a look at this. Sounds like they, <laughs> you know, need me. Hmm. Sure it is. Couldn't be. I can see it, I tell you. And I tell you, I can't. So, what's the problem? Not good. Not good at all. Wall's crooked. We're reading point zero 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 three off straight and level. Uh, what do you think, boss? Oh, well, boy. Hmm. Looks more like point zero 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 two, wouldn't you say, boss? Zero 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 three. Well, uh, looks like a three to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, people. Gonna have to tear this out and start over. Let's get some shovels on this thing. Put some muscle in it. It is the Barricane Way. Barricane Way. I can't let them find out, Tom Tom. They'll think I'm a total fraud. Which I am. <sighs> Everything I build falls apart. That doghouse I built, and the fence I built, and the treehouse I built. What am I gonna do when they find out? Maybe if I practice without anybody knowing, maybe I'll get the hang of it. I mean, how hard can it be? There, check that out, Tom Tom. I built the whole thing and it didn't fall down. That's one fine wall if I do say so myself. What? Wrong? Oh, you know, <sighs> I'm a klutz, that's all. Everybody thinks I'm a great builder, but I can't build anything. I thought maybe if I practiced, <sighs> but you see how it turned out. Look, Huck, not everybody's good at everything. Learning to build things is like anything else. It takes patience, practice, and confidence. I read somewhere that a good building is like a good friendship. It needs a strong, solid foundation. When you build from a good base, you get something that lasts forever. Yeah. Thanks, Strawberry. You know, Tom Tom, maybe Strawberry's right. I need to have patience. I need to practice. I need a good foundation. And some plain old luck wouldn't hurt. Well, there's a lucky find. Nice. Wonder where it came from. Any minute now. Hey. What's wrong with this thing? <laughs> Something very strange here. Incredible! <laughs> well, Tom Tom, I guess my luck has finally changed. And it changed when I found this. I never saw anything like it. Zero point zero zero. Zero! <gasps> Absolutely, perfectly, completely straight! The Barricade Way! for you. I never knew you were such a badminton ace. Neither did I. Great shot. Wow! Hooks, you are so good at horseshoes. Oh, just lucky. What a beautiful 
beautiful day. La, 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 la. Wait, better make sure. Did I forget it? My charm is gone. I have to find it. I have to find it. See? We have the wall finished. The Berrykins are finishing installing the sprinklers now. The playground's already done. Will it be ready for the grand opening? Oh, yeah. We're ahead of schedule. All that's left is the big <laughs> entry, and it'll be... <laughs> Cherry, what's the matter? My good luck. Charm, I can't, can't find it anywhere. What's it look like, Cherry? This big, on a chain, crystal, beautiful, all sparkly, and I can't sing at all without it. Cherry, you know you can sing. You don't need luck for that. But I do, Strawberry. I can't hit the high notes without it. Come on, Cinnapop. Look for it, girl. Find it. Remember, Cherry, we make our own luck with practice. Right, Huck? <laughs> Huckleberry? Oh, Tom Tom, I know it's hers, but it's lucky for me, too. If I give it back, I'll be a klutz forever. It's gone, Cinnapup. It's gone. Cherry, hold on. Hi, Huck. What's up? I just. I wanted to tell you. You. Want to get some lunch? I don't really feel like it. Thanks. Are you still upset about losing that thing? Mm-hmm. My lucky charm. Maybe Strawberry was right. Maybe you don't need it. I tried to hit that high note without it. I couldn't. Cherry? Cherry, listen. Oh. I need to tell you something. About that. Yo, Mr. Huckleberry, sir! Big news! Very big news! <clears throat> the Perrykin Builders Guild has decided to make you an honorary member of the Society of Extraordinary Engineers. Congratulations, boss! A rare honor indeed, richly deserved by such a talented builder. That's fantastic, Huck. Don't know what to say, but I don't deserve this. Really, I don't. No one deserves it more! Nonsense! This is it, Tom Tom. The keystone. The last, most important piece. As soon as it's done, I'll give Cherry her lucky charm back. Huh? <laughs> Cherry? Oh, I didn't know anyone was here. Are you all right? Mm, I'm okay. I'm just sorry I can't sing at the party. After all the work you've done. The place looks wonderful, Huck. I don't know how you did it. Yeah, about that. I think this is yours. I found it. <gasps> Huck! Oh, this is incredible! Thank you! Oh, you don't know how much this means! Now I can... La, la, la... <clears throat> la... <gasps> I can do it! I can hit the high notes again! That thing's amazing! I was a total klutz till I found it. Then I was the best builder ever. I don't understand it myself, but it really works, doesn't it? La, 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 la! Tomorrow, I'll tell the Barricans I'm no engineer. It was all luck. I've got a hole in my pocket? Hold on. I hit the high note, but I didn't have the charm. Maybe what Strawberry said was... Let's try something, Huck. Let's test it. What do you mean? Here goes. Patience. 
practice and confidence is the key. La, 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 la. Now, your turn. You're doing it, Huck. Yeah, but now the real test. I have to take out the supports. Look at it, as steady as a rock. <laughs> you did it! We did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> yeah. What's going on out here? You were right, Strawberry. I never needed that charm. Neither of us did. Hard work works better than luck. Is it finished? Is it done? Yep, it's all ready. <laughs> an idea. A souvenir we can share. Thanks, Cherry. This really was my lucky day. Cooking show video, take number... What is it now? 23! Take 23. Hi, everyone. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Tonight, I'm making Myrtle Berry Meringue. It's a great favorite here at Strawberry's Cafe in Berry Bitty City, and it's such a fun recipe. Of course, the most important ingredient is... a big bowl of merry, mirthful, mirthful berries. I mean, Myrtle. Myrtle berries. Oh. Sorry. Cut! That's a mirthful mouthful. Take 24. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle berries. Oh, no! Oh! oh! Cut! I'll tell you one thing, Strawberry. Don't quit your day job. Sour? What? Quiet on the set, please. Oh, sorry. Was I holding you up? Like it makes a difference. They say they're going to play this video on a skirt they're inventing. That's also a video screen. I mean, seriously? <laughs> Sour. Please. Take 25. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful uh, myrtleberries. Cut! What? <gasps> One more time. Quiet on the set. Take 26. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle bow. <sighs> oh, not again. Oh, power's been going off all day. We'll never get our video done. What are they doing down at the Berry Works power station? Finally, take 27. Ugh. How are you whiz kids gonna enter a technology in fashion contest with no technology? We'll have to continue later, whiz kids. It's getting dark and I need to take care of deliveries at the marketplace. But first, I'm gonna find out what's going on at the Berry Works. Gimme! Somebody cap that cracked crinolator! Bouncing bitter berries! What happened, Barrack and Bruce? Uh, Sparkleberry strainer popped a grommet. Oh, looks bad. Uh, not as bad as when the peach pit pulverizer exploded. We were up to our pips and pulp for a week. Hey! Move that mango masher! No, not that one! The other one! Uh, don't worry, Barrickins are on the job. The power will be up and down tonight, but we'll have it fixed by first thing in the morning. I hope. Come on, Berrykins! This whole place looks like it's too very short of a fruit salad! I'd better tell the girls it's a wrap till tomorrow. Oh, uh, Strawberry Shortcake speaking. Hi, Cousin Strawberry. Apple Dumpling? <laughs> I haven't talked to you in forever. How are you? 
I'm great! Always on the move, you know. Gotta see what's over that next hill, as we real travelers say. Thought I'd call and let you know I was thinking of stopping by for a quick visit. Oh, I'd love to see you. Things are just a little... crazy right now. When were you thinking of arriving? I'm guessing in about five, four, three, two, one! Are you all right? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this was nothing. Did I tell you about the time I climbed Mount Macadamia and discovered it's a volcano? That's right. I saw your post on your Very Best Bits page, but sure you're all right? Well, I had to dodge some lava chunks the size of a house when it erupted, but other than that... Uh, no, I mean the crash. This? Ah, oh, this was no crash. The time I went over Crabapple Falls in a kayak, that was a crash. There I was, down the creek without a paddle, when all of a sudden... Oh, I almost forgot. Tea time. Oh, okay, I'll make us both a cup as soon as we get to town. No, tea time turtle. There he is. He goes everywhere with me. I'm so glad you came to visit. I save every postcard you send me. Everyone's gonna be so excited to meet you. We all follow you on Very Best Bits and love all your pics and posts. Now, I don't want to cause anybody any bother. I just dropped by for a quick visit. I'll be gone before you can say planes, trains, and airplanes. But you just got here. Oh, well, you know how it is when you're a world traveling adventurer. You have so many pen pals to visit, you can't stay in one place for long. Can you stay just a little while? The Barricans will have to fix the bus, and they're all busy now. <gasps> you can stay overnight with me! Well, I guess I could stay just one day. A real bedroom would be nice. I I'm used to sleeping in my tent or the cabin on my little one-girl sailboat. I mean, one-girl and turtle sailboat. Right, tea time? Tea time? <laughs> oh, there you are. Sorry I can't be a better host, but I have to get all that stuff ready for tomorrow's customers. Oh, let me help. I can turn any boring chore into an adventure. Did I tell you about the time I hitched a ride on a cargo ship and helped the crew swab the deck by getting a whale to splash it clean? Oh, yeah. I read about that on your Very Best Bits feed. Didn't the ship kind of get, um, full of water? <laughs> yep. I turned it into the biggest swimming pool ever. Hmm. I, uh, see what you mean. And how did the captain feel about that? You should have seen his face. It was so sweet. I guess nobody had ever done something like that for him. He just sat there and cried. I can imagine. Leave it to me. I've got all kinds of ideas how to get this organized. No, 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 that's okay. I mean, you're my guest. You just get settled upstairs and I'll see you after I'm done working. Well, okay. You sure? <laughs> Very sure. Well, Barrick and Bruce said they'd get it fixed. So I'll be at the cafe first thing in the morning. Thank you, Strawberry. Okay, Lemon. You have a good night, too. <sighs> Apple, it's me. Thought you might want to see my collection of your postcards. Apple? Surprise! <laughs> well, are you ready? <laughs> For what? This. inside the Crystal Crater Caverns that I explored. Isn't it just amazing? Yes, it's amazing that you can do something like this, but do you think we could turn it off so we could get some sleep? Oh, oh sure, no problem. Oops, <laughs> I got so excited I forgot to add an off button. But don't worry, the lights will run out of juice on their own. Uh, when will that be? About sunrise?
said my mountain guy. This is dangerous. Ha-ha, I said, I embrace danger. I am Apple Dumpling Girl Adventurer. And so, for all my very best bits followers of Apple's amazing adventures, I begin the story. Oh, thanks, Tea Time. I begin the story of my latest adventure, Avalanche Surfing, How I Rode the Wild Snow. <laughs> well, hi there. Do you like my adventure story? Yeah! <laughs> well, would you like to hear more? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 Well, there I was. Boarding an avalanche. <gasps> faster and faster, I raced down the slope. The avalanche was hot on my heels. And then, all of a sudden... <gasps> wait a minute. Why tell you about it when I can show you? Come on! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Once we install this valve, we're back in business. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> now let's see if it works. And... Hup. Juice me and call me a smoothie. It works! Widget to ratchet into the berry juice system, and you have a snow making machine. <laughs> oh, no! Come on, everybody! Show cooking video take what is it now? 153 Take 153. Now remember, once we've mashed our myrtle berries, we need to blend them for only one minute. If you blend too long, it will foam up and get all over. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. Hot! Take 154. Strawberry. Uh, Cat! 155. Remember, we need to blend our Myrtleberry meringue only for a minute. If we blend too long, it'll foam up and get all over everything. I think she's got it. I think this take is going to be the one. Oh. Again. <sighs> That's just wonderful. Great. What else is going to go wrong? Quick, shut it down. Shut it down. Another popped 
scrub it? No, this is worse. A blowout in the juice cooler. What could have made that happen? Not what? Who? <laughs> Strawberry. Apple, can we talk? I've thought about it, and I think it's best if I just leave. <laughs> Come on, Apple, don't go. Everybody feels bad about what happened, but we can work it out. We're family here. I don't want to leave, but I have places to go, people to see. Gotta find the next big adventure for my very best bits feed. Being a famous traveler is what I do. It's why people like me. Is that why you don't stay with anyone for very long? Oh, Strawberry, I'm not like you and everybody else here. Having something you do that people need. At least stay until the Barricans can fix the bus. Oh, I can fix the bus faster than you can say batten down the hatches. It's my fault it crashed in the first place. I got curious how the booster worked and I, uh, tried to improve it. <laughs> I guess I improved it too much. Fixed? How'd you do that? I don't know. I just kind of look at stuff and I see how it works. See you, Strawberry. Well, but... Call, okay? Send me a postcard. I will. Strawberry! <gasps> All right, where is she? That cousin of yours, where'd she go? Oh, what'd she do this time? Do? You're not gonna believe it. I don't know how she could have done such a thing. Ooh, that bad, huh? Bad? No! It's good! It's great! It's brilliant! She fixed the power system! Better than new! She's a genius! Best Sparkleberry Techie in the very bitty world! Where is she? I gotta hire her! This town needs her! Strawberry isn't answering. It keeps saying she's out of range. What'd she do? Leave town? you to give me and my crew a crash course in fixing stuff. 
Apple, I want you to tell the kids your adventure stories at story time. We all want you to stay. There's no one aboard? How to do that? Automatic return. A little feature I added tells the butterflies when you don't need the bus anymore. Because you know you're not gonna leave. When you know you found the people you want to stay with and the place you want to stay. Welcome home. Great idea, Apple, to expand our dessert line to our own dog biscuit business. Okay, Apple. Ready to be part of our very best biscuit assembly line? After I decorate the biscuits with doggy-friendly icing, you wait for the icing to set, say, a couple of minutes, then wrap each biscuit in a piece of the pink cellophane and tie on a ribbon. These are already set. I'm on it. Great, cause here we go. Another batch is done. any that are broken or messy, just toss them in the discard box. These will be for the pups of Berry Bitty City. Won't they be pleased? This one's going all the way to Berry Farflung Township. They ordered six boxes. You know, these don't really look like dog biscuits. They don't? No, they really look more like cookies. <laughs> I see. Yeah, they do look pretty delicious, don't they? Like iced sugar cookies. Well, there isn't any reason we couldn't eat them. They're made from all natural, people-friendly ingredients, but they just look sweet. They're really more savory flavored. That's what dogs like. Savory? Yum. Strawberry means like the pretty icing doesn't have any sugar in it. It's sweet potato flavored. Dog friendly, of course. Sweet potato flavored? Yum. <laughs> Mm. Yeah! -ha! <laughs> Ew, gross. I saw what you did. What? She ate a dog biscuit. Apple ate a dog biscuit. Apple ate a dog biscuit. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, Sour. They have the same ingredients as a sweet potato cracker. Sweet and I taste tested them. Why don't you try one? Ew, no way. I'm not a four-legged creature who eats off the floor and wags its tail. <laughs> like some people we know. <laughs> <clears throat> These are ready to go to the post office, Sour. I think you went a little too far with your teasing. Why not apologize to Apple? <sighs> oh, senorita sensitive. Sorry, Apple, I was just kidding. <laughs> Did you really think Madame Key Lime could have done it? I wouldn't cross Madame Key Lime off your list of suspects if I were you girls. Sour. Hi, guys. Strawberries homemade triple berry muffins and spiced hot cider. Yum! That's so sweet of Strawberry to send those over. And for you to bring them, Apple. How's the book? Great! Suspenseful! Predictable! Can I pour you some nice hot... Sour, are you turning into a werewolf? Didn't you guys know Apple eats dog biscuits? <laughs> Yep, I saw her this very morning chowing down on, yeah, dog food. <laughs> she only tried one of our sweet potato doggy biscuits. <laughs> Told ya! <laughs> Sour, be nice or you can be excused from book club. 
politeness is another one of our rules you seem to have forgotten. Oh, come on! I was only fooling around. You guys are so stern. <sighs> Sorry, Apple. Apple, once more, please. That's okay. Try and relax. Hi, Sour. Can we help you? <laughs> Sour, stop your teasing. Can't you see we're having a lesson? Sorry. Just kidding. Huh. That's the last pineapple. You mean the last straw? Uh, yeah, sorry. On Berry Bountiful Island, they say last pineapple. But straw, pineapple, whatever. It's on now. Apple, where are you going? You were doing so well with your arpeggios. My arpeggios can wait. In the very big outback, when someone insults you three times, you're required to defend your honor. Uh, I'm not sure what is required in Berry Bitty City, but I don't think it's that. <laughs> Lemon? I really like the new shampoo you're using. It smells great. New? This is the same shampoo I've been using for weeks. <laughs> Hmm, that doesn't make sense. It smells like sandalwood? It's supposed to be lavender. <laughs> <laughs> that sandalwood smells familiar. Uh, hey! How did dog shampoo get into this bottle? This is definitely my sandalwood scented dog shampoo. <gasps> <laughs> Didn't you all know? Sour likes to have her hair washed with dog shampoo, followed by a good dusting of flea powder. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Apple. Good morning, Apple. I'll have my usual, please. Oh, it's over there at that table. Sour already got it prepared for you at a special table. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Ah. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> My tablecloth! Queen of Berryvania, and Your Royal Highness Princess Berrykin, thank you for your testimony. Ladies of the jury, you've heard the witnesses' testimony. How at our annual croquet tournament, our visiting royalty was soaked from head to toe with sparkle berry goop. And you've seen the damaged property from the cafe. 
All this caused by the feud between Sour and Apple. Have you reached a decision? <clears throat> we have. We all think a fair way to work this out is for Apple and Sour to spend the weekend camping at Berry Beautiful Meadow. Alone. <gasps> Together. <gasps> Okay, we're off. You're on your own. We'll see you back in town Sunday night. No earlier than sunset. Try and get along, please. you made me do. That looks... looked... good. I'm sorry. Never mind. I can always make another one. Really? <laughs> what if... <sighs> what? What if... Oh, never mind. If you are going to keep bothering me by speaking, you might as well say something useful. Make me one of those, I'll set up your tent. And my air mattress? Hmm. Okay, I'll blow up your air mattress if you make me dessert. Uh, oh, all right. Deal. Mm. This is pretty good. The campfire is not bad. Um, thanks for, uh, making it. <laughs> You're welcome. This is better. Thanks. Dinner was, um, really good. <laughs> as good as the oatmeal I made you? <laughs> I have to admit, I really had you. You looked pretty goofy. Yeah, yeah, but my sprinkler thingy was worse. It's really all my fault. I started the whole thing with all my dog teasing. I'm sorry. Do you think they'll ever forgive us? I hope. Let's make it up to them. How? By you and me not playing any more pranks. Deal. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear giggling? Bouncing boysenberries. Look at them. Well, that worked better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, Hi, girls. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't around to help with the biscuits this weekend. And I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Sounds like you and Sour worked things out. I'm glad. Sour is pretty cool. I hope she likes me. But I don't even cook. I wish I was more like her. How about you help us by making your own biscuit recipe? My own? Really? Sure. We'll get you started and you can make up your own flavorings. You know, stuff doggies will like. Tea time! I have something for you. It's turtle-shaped. 
I made it for you. My own recipe. It's carrot flavored. Okay, one for Scouty, one for Marmalade, one for Chiffon. the biscuits I made them. They won't like them either. What if I gave you a crash course in cooking? Really? Would you, Sour? But you have to be serious and pay attention and follow orders. I promise. First, a cup of flour. Then a teaspoon of salt. Cup of flour, teaspoon of salt. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. Cup of oil, teaspoon of paprika, tablespoon of lemon juice. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. I knew it! I'm brilliant. Brilliant. Mmm, you are. You're a natural chef, Apple. Really, Sour? But I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I mean, how could Sweet Pat Primrose be so, so fiendish? People always have a dark side, Sweet. Sweet doesn't have a dark side. <laughs> Hi, Apple. Glad to see you. Whatever. Brought the cider. So, who done it? Who knows? We're only on chapter four. Some people don't like to skip to the end. You want to know the real mystery? It's that you all sit here every week wondering about it instead of finishing the book at home. <laughs> Ouch! That was pretty good. Have a popover. I made it myself. Sour helped me. She taught me everything I know. Psych! <laughs> no, here, just kidding. They're really good, Apple. I knew it. I'm brilliant. Catch you later. Gotta go visit with my real friends. <laughs> see you. Not if I see you first. What? You were right about the dark side. What did you do to her? Just gave her a cooking lesson. And she's a natural. And there was nothing natural about that. Nothing naturally. Apple, she's acting like... like you. Oh, no. She's a... sour apple. You know, last time, Lemon, my polish chipped in one day. Maybe a free makeover is in order? Well, I did warn you to wait till it dried, but you rushed out of here. I don't have time for slow drying polish. <sighs> it's normal drying, but... Hey, Beauty Betty, are you paying attention to what you're doing? <gasps> what did you say? You got polish on my fingertip. Do you think you can keep it on the nail, or do we need to get you connected dots? <gasps> Whoa. Apple, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into me? Hmm. I think I learned to cook in one day, but Lemon needs to go back to beauty school for, like, forever. <gasps> Apple? I've had it with this chop shop. Good luck, good riddance, and goodbye. <sighs> Oh, 
it's you. You what? I want to give you a free makeover to correct what happened this morning. Uh-huh. Well, I guess so. Now that's more like it. Hello, Apple. Uh, what's the deal? How can I get my free makeover with all these customers ahead of me? Oh, no, no, no. You're first in line. They've been waiting for you. Oh, well, that's better. Sit here by me. We just want to tell you what we think of the new Apple. New Apple? You see, we really miss the old Apple. You used to be so sweet. And now you say mean things that hurt our feelings. But I thought you'd like me more. I'm glad you and I are friends. And I'm flattered you like me, but I don't want you to act like me. You don't? Just cook like me. <laughs> don't you think one meanie in Berry Bitty City is enough? Oh, I guess so. I miss the old apple, too. You mean you already liked me the way I was? Yes! And maybe the old apple could give me a crash course. In what? Friendliness. Tea Time did with my biscuit. He didn't like it. Oh, no. They're saving them for later. To a pup, that's the highest compliment. You mean? Yep. Tea Time loves your cooking. Just the way it was. Even before I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Berry Kim Bloom. Good morning, Strawberry Shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes, both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line, my very best ever. So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye! Ready to 
get quilting? Oh, no more sewing. Please. I just came by to say I can't come to quilting club today. But quilting club is your favorite. Is something wrong? Yeah. This. I promised the princess I'd make waiters for all the berrykins for their annual jam stomping. Dozens and dozens of them. And I thought it would be easy because the berrykins are so small. But it turns out making something so small is actually so hard. You see, to make them watertight, they need little itty-bitty teensy-weensy stitches. Too tiny for my sewing machine. And they're so hard to see. Oh, dear. Oh, that's too bad. You are raspberry. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, raspberry. Oh. If only those bitty barricans were the same size as us, at least then I could see what I'm doing. Oh. oh, oh. Only six dozen to go. Oh, no. I could make them in no time if they didn't have to be so... so... so little! Ah! Hey! You know, if the berrykins were bigger, not only would this job be easier, but bigger berrykins could stomp that much more jam. What's up? Okay, okay, everybody. They're too big, but I have just a way to make them fit perfectly. Just hold still while I. Oh, nice. Uh, did I smell bad or something? Oh, no. Uh, patience. Ooh. Now try the waiters on. Ta-da! Wanna try some of that? Oh boy! <laughs> well, sure. Here you go. Great! <laughs> Thanks! 
Uh, <laughs> about that. <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> Goodness me, my spray must have done this somehow. So that's what happened. I don't know why the perfume makes things grow. It just does. That doesn't make sense. Perfume doesn't make things grow. <gasps> Barry can bloom. What about him? He was working on a spray to make flowers bigger, right near where you were gathering petals for your perfume. And it was pretty windy. Strawberry! Strawberry! My special spray somehow got away. We think we figured out how. Somehow? Your growth spray got into my perfume. And when I sprayed it on the berrykins... You sprayed it on the berrykins? Well, yes. I was having trouble making waders that were so small, so... But, Raspberry, did you think how you were going to make the berrykins small again? Well, I thought they might like being big. Uh... Hmm. Uh, Berry can bloom. You have another spray to make flowers smaller, right? I do indeed. For whatever size you need. So maybe if Raspberry makes more perfume and you mix it in with the other spray. But why does he need to mix it with my perfume? My spray doesn't work that way. It takes more time. So something about the perfume must have caused the change when it was mixed with Berry Can Bloom spray. Then it's up to you two. We need you to mix some special perfume. <laughs> I'm just about done here, Berry Can Bloom. for you to see, but not for me. Oh, so it wasn't just your growth spray and my perfume, but the sparkles too? It's a good thing you're so small, or we'd never have figured that out. Sparkles I can make, but I don't know how many it will take. Another test. Oh, we did it! We did it! Bake and Bloom and I found a way to shrink the bearkins back to normal! That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it! Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry!
Well, we've been trying to make more, but Berry Can Bloom hasn't been able to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, Blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. Running. <gasps> if they can't run the berry works, then no one is making glimmer berry juice. What happens to Berry Bitty City when the juice runs out? Oh, this is absolutely awful. I thought making the berrykins bigger would be helpful. I didn't think I'd be affecting all of Berry Bitty City. Right now, we're the only ones small enough to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Oh, uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things! Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's gonna run our shops? Fruit salad! Coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it! Hmm. Uh. Where's my waffle? You have some tea on table five. Here's the waffle boards at table four. How do you make a waffle? Don't ask me. I've never cooked the book. Neither have I. Not in place. Look at all of these. What do we do? Where are they supposed to go? I know. We'll sort them by color. He's right. Dips on green. What a great idea. So, what do we do? Whatever the Barricans used to do. Come on. Mm, that way. Do it the way the berry can do it. Uh, they make it look so easy, but it's not. change you just to make things easier for me. Oh, I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal.